What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel, another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do daily videos here and daily tournament live streams at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. And my streams are down right now because of the conflict with YouTube, but as soon as that's back up, it should be this week, we will get back to those tournaments. So guys, we're recruiting an LOK if you're over 3,000 trophies. Come join. We're going to always stay at uh, uh, 49 out of 50, so that way we'll move the lowest person each time over to LOK, our family clan, and then we've got... Um, L O K. Um, we've got two different um, family clans, so make sure you uh, come come join us, guys. We're trying to get better. We're trying to join more tournaments and stuff. And I host tournaments all the time, so we're working on getting better. Um, we have a top ten European player um, that almost reached five thousand trophies as a level eleven. Arya, aka sixty nine percent Yo Mama. Um, I think uh, you know what he's talking about there. So someone asked me to show my three musketeers deck. This is similar to the the hog three musketeers deck that uh, people were playing with the bar putt but um see i used to run it like this but with the minor and the bar putt place but people are having a lot of luck running the bar putt so we're gonna try it let's just see how it goes now i could run either knight or i could run um i could run archers too i might run archers because the thing is is that if we don't run something archers or minions we're really, really dead to Graveyard, and everyone's running Graveyard, so we gotta switch it up a little bit here. We're gonna go ahead and switch it up, and put it in there. So then, one side will tank with Barb Hut, and the Barbarians, one side will tank with Ice Golem. Then I can use the Ice Spirit to send with the Solo Musketeer. I'll show you once we get into the battle. You can do that, and it... I might run Zap, too, instead of, um, Log. I don't know, the Log's very powerful. We'll run Log, we'll run Log. Let's just go. We're starting a brand new Grand Challenge. I haven't played Three Musketeers in a while, so... You know, give me a chance here. I might lose, might lose here, but I do not edit my videos because I like to keep them raw, and I don't want you guys to get, you know, get some illusion that um, I don't lose matches. Because believe it or not, every person who makes YouTube videos lose. Some just uh, choose not to show it. Now this could be a time to punish him, right? With the three muskies. I don't know. I just don't know. We don't have our barb hut up, so if we can make it through this. I think we'll be okay. Okay, yep. I knew that was coming. I was really late on that. Alright. We're ahead in damage. I put that ice golem there. Um, you can see what it did. The ice golem basically tank for the ice wizard so that the rest of the stuff didn't die so that worked really well all right i'm feeling a little better did you see just that just a ice spirit and a musketeer took over half of the tower down so that just shows you how strong um one musketeer is with an ice spirit so this guy's only got a level two bowler what's he doing playing me because i usually as you saw i played backstab yesterday one of the coronation day winners i'm like in um one of the higher brackets or whatever for you know matches so we're gonna try to bait out I didn't want the death damage to hit that oh he done messed up he's probably gonna drop something on these Oh, he's got Fireball and Lightning. I forgot about that Lightning. Oh, that was really bad. He could probably punish me here. Well, he used 6 Elixir, so we're probably pretty close. The thing is, he's running Lightning and... Like, who runs Lightning as well? By the way, if you put an Ice Golem in front of a Miner like that, it'll push the Miner off of your tower. Who runs, uh... Who runs Lightning... Lightning and Fireball? I've never, never really seen that. So... Um, and he's running. Okay. That was a really bad fireball, actually. I just gotta keep that miner off the tower. Can't let him get it down to range. Alright guys, and that's game, so, you know, you always want to split up those musketeers, and, you know, it's not, 
it's not really rocket science. It's the barb hut makes it really easy. The old version, which I'll probably play one game of as well, with like a uh, a miner and then a knight instead of an ice golem. Uh, we'll run that next. That version is a little more complicated to play because you don't really have that defensive structure. So you've got to. So we're playing someone from Arab Outlaws. That's a good. It's a good clan. So I'm sure it'll be a uh, a tough match up here. Let's see. Yep. I'm just gonna try something. No way he's got the elixir for lightning, right? I mean, sure, we almost took the tower, but how easy is he going to be able to take our tower now? Luckily, I had those archers. Alright, I don't think it was worth it. He had that scar me. I would need to pre-fire that log. And there's barbs out to kill that princess. Um, figures. Oh no, I don't have anything to kill those. Uh, that scar me. That'll kill it, fortunately. These princesses are giving me a very hard time. He's like running like a bait, like an arrow bait, zap bait. If we can get it to tower tower, going into overtime, I think we've got a good good shot here. Has he shown us fireball or? I don't recall seeing. I do not recall seeing fireball or. Or lightning. So, this will be a good time to to find out. We're gonna send two down the left lane, one down the right lane. I'm a little late on that. Okay, we got that right tower. We're gonna put that down to distract that Mega Minion. We just gotta get rid of that princess or she's just gonna kill everything. Alright, got a good log there. So Mega, the Golem's a really hard deck to beat too, and that one, and he's from Arab Outlaws, it's a very good tournament clan, you guys have seen him on the ladder, um, so, yeah, maybe this deck is, uh, decent, it might not be as good as the Hog deck that, like, you know, pro players are running, but this deck's three Elixir cheaper, and it's more about the Musketeers doing the damage than the Hog Rider, so, bad starting hand, I really like having the Barb Hut to start. See, this is, like, not good at all. I just sat on 10 elixir like an idiot, too. And I don't have anything to lightning rod for those. No! Oh, the ice wizard didn't make it. Oh, no. Left tower, we did some damage though, look. Look at that left tower. Look at that tanking. Wonder if we'll get any tower damage on the right. If we can even kill this uh, furnace, I would be amazed. If we can get two shots on the furnace. One, two, three, four, five. Took the furnace out and got a shot in on the tower. What's up? Okay, we're gonna send that to the right. And we're gonna send our... The ice golem and ice spirits, that's what they're for, is basically to... Um, tank so that way your kill troops can can take care of business we don't want these to hit our barb hut 
Looks good to me. Not sure if that's a... I need to actually ask some very good players if that's a positive trade right there. Like, I think so. I don't know how the numbers work out, but it's better than probably letting them get the uh, elixir advantage there. In case that he's got lightning, I'm going to put the ice golem down now. Look at those three... Three barbs. Okay, look at this. We got one barb and a musketeer. That ice was ice spirit's gonna um freeze the tower okay he did a good job there i'm gonna save up for fireball Ooh, a bad fireball really okay both of his towers like under half health so next time these barbs come out okay he doesn't appear to have fireball or anything so that's kind of odd right look at that uh barb getting three shots in amazing all right so we're gonna play the Golem for a lightning rod. We play a Mega Minion. We're gonna go ahead and play the Ice Spirit on the left. Hopefully we can take this left tower. Ooh, he didn't get there. Look at that left, um, yep, good game. Look at all this counter pushing coming in. We might take both towers. Good game. Well played. Even though our towers weren't touched, uh, C star cool looking name how many games have we played two or three i can't remember how many games we've played let's uh all right we played three games with this deck and i really like it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you want to see another three musketeers deck i just made this one i changed some things up i think i put in ice spirit for the um pog rider i think so let's let's see if it, if it says 4.3 then we did yeah i put in hog rider for the I already put an ice sphere for the hog rider just because rather than having the hog rider as my kill card the three musketeers on the counter push are very powerful and i love putting one ice spirit with that one musketeer because it and if two musketeers are going across the bridge and there's someone that's playing valkyrie or something like that you can use that ice spirit to freeze it and then the three musketeers will kill it very quickly same with the ice golem so the ice twins right there so we'll call this the ice twins three musketeers plus you got the barb hut in there so pretty sweet let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember, teamwork makes dream work. Smash that thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm not getting very many views on these Clash Royale videos yet, but that's just part of the grind, man. We uh, we took over Clash of Kings, and we're coming for Clash Royale next. Thank you guys so much. See you next video. Later tonight. Peace.